Hi, I'm Haley with the Wenatchee River Salmon Festival. I'm here at Create Art Studio in Kashmir, Washington with our festival art director, Christy Pease. Today, Christy is going to show us how to draw a super simple salmon. So come on in and let's get started. Today on your salmon, depending on what you have at home, you guys can work on notebook paper, not a problem. You can go to your printer and grab a couple sheets of printer paper, that works. Or if you happen to have any drawing paper, and since I'm in the studio, I have lots of drawing paper, that's what I'm gonna use today. So what I want you guys all to do is turn your paper horizontally, sometimes we call that hot dog, horizontally, and we're gonna begin. I'm using a pencil and with a good eraser. If you don't have a good eraser, you could also use a color pencil, a crayon, or a pen. But in this drawing, you're gonna do a little bit of erasing. So let's get started. At the beginning of the salmon, we're gonna come over to the side of your page and you're gonna do a really bendy arrow, sort of just like that. You see how I did that? Gave my nose a little bit a little bit of room from the side of the page and just did a slight bended arrow. Then I'm gonna go not quite to the end of the page because we need to save room for the tail, but somewhat in this area and I'm gonna do a half moon just like this. Now please note that this is not a professional salmon, this is a fun salmon and it'll get you the skills you need to get started. So you have your bended arrow and you have your half moon. Now what I want you guys to do is what we call the windshield wiper. You put your hand in the center and you connect one line like a windshield wiper to the other line. Then flip your paper around. Do the exact same thing. Do a windshield wiper, connect one line to the other one. Got it? Now you have something that sort of looks like a bullet. I know it looks funny, but we'll get to the salmon part. Now. Most salmon are known for their big, large mouths, so that's what we're gonna start with. Right here at the bended part of your mouth, draw a fish hook. That's all you need to do. Just make a big, giant U, and I'll wait for you to get there. So once you get that great looking U, you're gonna do the exact same thing for the bottom lip. Come up from the bottom, don't touch it, and make another U. You see our mouth starting to form? Mm-hmm. Salmon have those big mouths. Now, we're gonna give him a little top to his mouth, so draw a line right there. And we're gonna give him a little bottom to his mouth, a line right there. Now, just connect your lines. It's looking like a salmon now, isn't it? If you do have an eraser, go ahead and erase that little line right there. Then you'll know what's going on. All right, now we need to give our salmon some eyeballs so he knows where he's swimming, right? Right above the mouth, we're gonna give them a big giant eyeball. They have a long way to swim, they've got big eyes. Then we're gonna give them a pupil so he can see where he's going. And most salmon are on a big mission, so they're very serious fish. So we gotta give them a serious expression, just like this. Give them an eyebrow up top, give them a little expression eyeball down there. Now, we all know that fish have gills, so we need to give our salmon the little gills. Is everybody following me okay? If not, you are more than welcome to pause the film and catch up. All right, how do salmon swim? They swim with fins, perfect. But our salmon have a certain number of fins and hopefully when you're done with this drawing, you'll get to work with your teacher to be able to identify every fin on our fish. Let's start with the main one, the one that gets them to go. This is super easy to do. Take your pointer finger, Lay it on the end of that salmon if you want to. Draw a little dot out there for a guide. Now come down to the other side of your curved line and draw another dot. See those two dots? One more dot we need for that tail is right in the middle, a little closer to the fish body. Now let's draw in our tail. We're gonna connect the top dot to the middle dot and the bottom dot to the middle dot and you're gonna make them a little arched. Now let's connect it to the body. 
connect the fish there at the very top and at the bottom of your arch, connect down there. Look at that, we have a tail. Now, at the top of your fish, right above those really great gills you gave them, put your finger. On this line that you made, draw a dot on the line and draw another dot on the other side of your finger. You see this? Now, up top, draw a line. You're making, You're an, making invisible an invisible triangle. triangle. We're going to attach the top dot to the bottom dot. And then, this is the fun type. We're going to go wiggle, 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 wiggle down because that's how their fins go in the back. Now, we're gonna give them a little fin back here. Same procedure, a little dot on this side of your finger, a little dot on that other side of your finger, and right on top of this finger, not as big fin, just a smaller one right there. You see my triangle again? Great, let's connect the dots. We'll connect a smooth dot there, and a wiggle, 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 wiggle down there. Now. We have the two fins at the bottom of his body. These are shaped a little different, so we're gonna put our dots in the exact same way. But instead of a wiggle, we're just gonna make them nice and smooth. See that? Perfect. Now, one more fin at the back. A dot and a dot and a dot. Make your rectangle again. Make it nice and smooth to connect your first two. This one definitely has a wiggle. Wiggle, 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 wiggle down. Now, we only have one more fin to do. Super easy, right in his body. Since we've been using our finger, let's continue to do that. You're gonna do a dot on one side, a dot on the other side, and a dot to the point. And you're gonna make this real smooth, and you're gonna connect this fin just like that. Now, in order to give our fin a little visual texture, we're going to give it some lines. There you go. Just give it some wiggly lines. They don't have to be perfect, but we want to know these are exactly where our fins are going. So we're just going to draw some in. You can be the artist on this and decide how many lines your fish has. So simple. Now, you have a simple salmon. There are a couple of them that I drew and I colored in when I was finished. Here's my first salmon that I colored in. And this would be a salmon at the beginning of his life because he's the bright pinks and he's got some browns, and beautiful greens. And this would be a salmon towards the end of his life. He is a red with his beautiful silver fins. And that, my friends, is how to draw super simple salmon. <laughs>